For our third and final button magic example, I've taken our regular button example sketch and just made a very slight tweak so that it latches, and this means that it's going to keep the same value between pushes. And that means that it's going to hold the same value until you push the button again, at which point it will flip its value, uh, and this makes a really easy on-off button. As you can see, most of the code is pretty much the same. As usual, I'm using the simpler circuit with the internal pull-up resistor on the Arduino. So I have changed this input declaration to an input pull-up for the button. And again, once we get to the loop, we're going to perform a digital read to get the value of the button. But this time, instead of turning it on when the button is pushed, and then once it's released, it goes off, we're changing it so that it only takes action when the button is actually pushed. And that action that it takes is to flip the current status of the LED. So if it's on, it'll go off, it's off, it's going on, it's, you know, etc. So how do we do that? Like in one of our other button to magic examples, we're using that exclamation point to say, do the reverse of this. Whatever you're doing, stop and do the other thing. In this case, we're using it with the digital read function on the LED pin itself, and then setting the LED pin to the opposite of whatever it was. So if the button state is low, if the button is pushed, then write the new value of the LED pin to the opposite of whatever it already is. And then, of course, you delay for 150 milliseconds to give yourself time to ease up on that button a little. Let's give it a shot. Cool. Code is magic.